Okay, so we're getting ready to move the bus to the location that we want for our greenhouse setup. So we got a skid steer out with my hubby. He's gonna be pulling me. And I'm gonna try to angle it up so we can turn it real good. How's it looking like? Good. So we've decided to try to have a greenhouse here on the property. And what what uh, what we saw was there's a potential to use a bus and turning a bus, taking all the seats out, taking the top shell off, and using that uh, school bus as a greenhouse and uh, putting plastic on the top. So we just so happened to have a school bus sitting on our property. And the first stage of this school bus greenhouse conversion is to get that school bus right exactly where we want it on our property. All right, so we're getting closer to our little location here and it's gonna be a really great place for us to set it because we'll have access on both sides whether we get our well up and running or whether we can just run it from where our water line is for our rural water. And then uh, until we get it kind of set up the way we want and painted the way we want and to look, look less like a yellow school bus, uh, I like the fact that it's not super close to our house so you can, it's not an eyesore yet. And it's going to be not necessarily a year round greenhouse, but maybe it's going to be just kind of a, a hot house or whatever to get some of those seeds started earlier uh, and just uh, maybe you know i'm thinking we can start all our seeds in here and then maybe we can use it in the fall to prolong our growing season a little bit as well uh, i'm not sure what all we're going to grow in here but uh, definitely you know watch on to uh, find out what all we what, what all we do but this is the first day of doing anything in the actual bus uh, a couple days ago we moved it to where we wanted it and uh, we've got it moved now to a place that has good southern facing sunlight and uh, we're gonna get a lot of sun we're gonna get the water that we need to supply for all our growing plants and uh, so it's a few things like that that we're gonna start out with but today we're gonna start out by taking out all of the bus seats except uh, we're gonna leave this driver's seat in here because that's pretty cool and uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So when we got the bus and got into the bus here, there's already a few seats taken out here. And all that it is to take out these bus seats is there's um, a bolt there, a bolt there that go directly into the floor here. And then uh, up over here on this ledge, there's just uh, two nuts to take off over here and you're good to go that seat pulls right off of there no problem so that's what we're going that's the project for today we're going to get these bus seats um, off the off the floor get them loose and then we're going to take them out of the bus and uh, clear this thing out so we can kind of see what we need to do and then after that i think we are going to go ahead and start with uh taking the skin off the ceiling or the rough here, I guess. So we're gonna take the, that's our plan, is get the seats up, get the skin off the roof, and uh, so that we have full sun exposure from the, from the top, and also, of course, these windows. The nice thing about these bus windows is they work really, really well. Even if they are old, they all still move, uh, they'll still move up and down, just like your regular, school bus does so we can have airflow and whatever we need in here.
All right, so we are demo day one today and uh, getting all the bus seats tore out. And you can see Lincoln and Matt are just going to town, getting them all done. Good job, Link. All right, we're done with that. Got our little helpers up here. All right, little squirt, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just flipping back the chair. Are you driving yeah. bus? Yeah. All right, thanks for keeping us in line. All right, we got the last of the old school IBM computers coming out of here. Open it up, for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. Okay, so it's uh, still day one. It's uh, getting getting a little bit uh, into the evening now, but I am gonna keep working on the, the bus conversion here. Uh, like I said, we're still in the first day. We've got the seats cleared out, and now we're gonna start on the skin, the inside skin on the roof. So there's an inside skin, there's a layer of insulation, a little bit of wiring uh, for a few lights that uh, light up in a seated area and then there's the outside skin and I think I'm gonna get the inside pretty much um, just really cleaned up and how thought out how I want to do it and then I'll take the outside skin off and figure out if I'm just gonna pull plastic or go ahead and use uh, windows and kind of make an a-frame style on top so anyways I just wanted to show you the progress uh, today and all the kids and everybody helped. Uh, Bethany did a lot too. So here's a little bit of the progress. So that is what it looks like. There's some ribs there and then the outside skin is what you're looking at there. And that's the white there is the inside skin. You kind of see it hanging down there. Then uh, the insulation in between. So how you take that off is by taking and what I do is every single one of these uh, pop rivets here every single one of these pop rivets I'm going to screw I'm gonna take a you know just take a drill bit and uh, drill that out I'm gonna drill that out there until that falls off and that tells me that that pop rivet isn't holding anymore. There's 13 of them for each, you know, one of these. And there's, oh, I got 10 more or so. Um, and then I, there, there's uh, lights in here. I just took the lights down and then I went ahead and cut the wires there. And so this is, you know, kind of what it looks like with that those pop rivet ends drilled out. It allows that to come free. And you can pull that down. Uh, the easiest way to pull that off, i found, is to pull the section along the base on both sides. So you pull that down, and you pull that down and that loosens everything up. Uh, and then of course, you can just grab it here with the channel lock pliers or whatever and uh, pull it down and I'm putting it in a pile here. You know, it's pretty good metal, so I'll probably repurpose that down the road on a project. Uh, definitely keeping that around, throwing the insulation away. Uh, I'm not sure what all's been up in there, but I don't think that'll be of any benefit to me. So uh, a few of the seats that are left to go out and I'm just putting them in Actually, I'm putting them inside storage right now in a in a barn that I have open. Uh, just because the seats are still in really good condition, they look really nice. Uh, that one is like the only one without a back. Otherwise, they they look like they're in good condition. So I might be able to use those for different projects as well. So um, yeah, that's where that's where the conversion is at right now on this bus. Uh, like I say, we're turning it into into a greenhouse and it's exciting. 
I think it's gonna work really great. So that's that for today, day one.